Hey everybody, it's Todd Kazinka, Planet Hoops. Just going to go over a little uh, ice hockey screencast. Normally, uh, of course, we do basketball at Planet Hoops, but I'm just going to show you the XPS Network uh, program from uh, right up here. You see Sideline Sports XPS Network. And uh, what you see here is you have a nice full ice rink. I'm going to show you how you can change it. You can actually change it to a uh, smaller size there. Okay, you can do a full court, smaller size. Or a fuller ice, full ice service. I mean, um, all these different sizes. And um, so, with the big one here, I'm going to choose this. And you can see it's very easy to rotate that around. However, you want to do it. I'm going to go like this today. And uh, I was going to show you how easy that this is. We've got uh, some choices for pylons. If you wanted to do drill, sorry, that's puck. Um, got a bunch of pucks on the ice, let's say, and you have a practice, and pucks everywhere on the ice. As you can see, if you want to remove them all, just press one button, and all the pucks are gone. Okay, now you've got a few choices of uh, colors. We've got uh, the blue players. You have them lined up wherever you want them to do a drill. Let's say you want to have a breakout. Okay, just type it in the side. Okay, then you can move it, place it uh, over there. That doesn't work. But let's say, okay, this is our breakout. I'm going to uh, do a little drill here for this or, or actually just animate. This is an animation. So we can actually show what kind of breakout that we're going to use. Okay, so again, the players don't really matter the numbers okay and let's just delete a few of these numbers a few of these guys okay and um, we can have our goalie let's say he's let's say he's number 30 35 whatever again the, all these other numbers don't matter but he's our goalie okay and uh, so the first frame is going to be this. You start like this. I'm going to press this button after he goes to here. Okay, I'm going to add that frame. Okay, now I'm going to move him here, and I'm going to move the puck with him. Add the frame again. Okay, so he's skating there. And while that's happening, we're going to move these guys here, these guys here, this guy here. And this guy's going to come up the rear. I'm going to press this button, add the frame. Okay. Now the next frame, I'm going to say maybe we're going to go up the boards, pass to here. Okay, add add a frame. This guy skates here. We're going to give him the pass. Okay. While that's happening, these guys are going to be up skating. Okay, and then this guy's going to be skating. Add that frame. Skating, 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 okay, and then this is our breakout. All right, now let's play that animation and show you what that looks like. Okay, he, these guys are moving. Okay, it passes up to the side. Okay, skating. And there you go. There's a quick little animated uh, movie there. All right. Again, if you want to, uh, if you want to uh, move the uh, the view, play the animation. It will play for you sideways. Again, he started here. I had him here earlier, but we started him on this animation. So skates with it. So people sometimes get a better idea when the view is in a different format okay now if you wanted to hide one of these players just over here you click it you hide them hide them all for whatever reason you wanted to hide that get that out of the way it's very cool rotate the rink again now we're going from the other end okay he's coming up the side these guys are moving to the open space okay pass is made moving up this is a fully animated thing. It's only uh, seven frames. 
You can switch the sides of the players even and go a, a different way now. See how just pr by pressing one button. That's a pretty cool feature. Okay, press this button here and now automatically we're at the other end. You don't even have to flip the rank around. Okay, this says, it says flip signs as well. We can flip the signs over here. Okay, flip the image. Flip both. All right, now we're not going to do that right now. But this tool for any sport, this is just for for hockey. I've done screencasts before to show you show you the basketball. Um, and they are very, very easy to use. We've got not just basketball, there's soccer, there's football, any sport you can think of. So I'm going to remove all the lines. Okay, I'm going to uh, do another animation. And uh, again, I'm not a I'm not a hockey expert, but uh, I do know how to use this software and, and demonstrate the tools for coaches. And my purpose today is to show you how simple this is and, and um, how useful it might be for you as a coach to be able to show your team animated animated plays, whether it's your power play, your penalty kill, your breakout, um, for teaching young kids offsides, for example, for teaching uh, kids uh, spacing on the ice. Okay, so uh, let's say we're, we're going to do a, uh, a power play. All right. Just click that there. This is our power play. And then you right click and then you can move it wherever you want. Maybe up in the top corner. Let's say we want to use uh, X's and O's instead. Okay. So or A to Z. You can even put the players' names in there. Let's say this is a Canucks thing. Okay. We're going to put Kessler. We can actually make it smaller too. Um, let's say I want to make this a little bit of a smaller font down to 18. Okay, I'm going to click that again. I'm going to remove this, delete that one. So here's Kessler. Let's say he's a winger. We got Sedin. He's going to be here. We got the other Sedin over here. Okay, we'll call him Sedin uh, Daniel. Okay, reduce this one. And then Sedin Henrik. Okay. Let's move the, uh, sorry, let's delete that one. All right, and on defense, let's say we have uh, Bieksa. Okay, and he's going to be uh, right here. And then uh, the other defense one, let's say it's Alberts. Okay, whoever your players are. Obviously, you can move them around, right? And you can, that, that might make it easier for you to have moved around. Now for the defense, defensive team, you got all these choices up here, different colors, or X's and O's. Let's use X's and O's. Let's say we have the goalie. Okay, let's say they're running some sort of box. Okay, and then of course we'll put the puck in here. Up here. Now again, this is an animation. You can just do simple diagrams and export those as PDFs if you, if you want. Um, and then you can just do what I'm doing and do screencasts and record your screen and you know move the players like this as it's going. Maybe Sedin's going to be behind the net. Okay. Uh, Kessler, maybe one up here. Uh, pressure's on the puck. Okay. However, the, the team, maybe they're playing like more of a, a triangle, um, diamond shape. I don't know that much about how coaches play uh, five on four but you've got curved arrows you got straight arrows you got all kinds of things so so for a pass usually it's it's something like like uh, sorry like this okay right here maybe an option okay you can only do it one option at a time so if I click this add frame button that puck's going to be already over there. Okay, now let's say we want puck to go over here now. All right, maybe maybe uh, we move the players over as well. The defensive players, maybe we move Sedin over here. Maybe we move Alberts here. Kessler's maybe going to go right into the middle. Okay, so let's add that frame. Um, 
Now maybe the puck is moved. You don't even have to use an arrow. You just place it there. Pressure's on here. Goalie's here. Maybe maybe you have Kessler coming behind the net now. Albert's over here. This guy's dropping down. Whoever it may be, whatever team. BX is maybe more in the middle. I don't know how these guys are playing. But I'm just showing you different movements. Uh, add frame. Now you click here, play animation. All right, and let's go... Uh, over to here now this had the breakout on it earlier so what what happens is I didn't erase this so I'm just gonna keep going forward step by step because I deleted all those players now here's the new the new power play so uh, if we press play you'll see how the players move okay now again this is very rudimentary I'm not showing you uh, a lot of the details but simple to use you can imagine rather than using just video because a lot of teams younger teams especially will not have access to video um, you can use something like this it's not expensive very easy to use and uh, if you want to order go to sidelinesports.com they have a free trial download for this and uh, I think it's about a two-week download you can use the uh, referral code ham 11 which is which is my referral code that I'm promoting the product with. I, I love it. Um, and I, I'm going to try to make more of these screencasts for people just to show them how great it is and, and uh, how easy it is to use. Okay, puck here in the net. Um, if you have any questions, please send me an email. And I uh, would love to hear from you. Feedback, questions, comments. Thank you very much for listening today. Have a great day. Todd Kazinka, Planet Hoops. And uh, you can get this at sidelinesports.com. Reference code HAM11. Take care.